to Amanda's Bookish Adventures. Today we'll be talking about my Octave, October TBR and I have a bunch of books I want to read in October. So if I'm a little sniffly, I found out some bad news, but I, I wanted to get this done because it's October 1st tomorrow. So I'm going to do it a stack at a time and then probably stop after the stack. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Uh, my stand does no longer wants to work. So I, it's going to be shaking. I have to get a better stand. All right, so I want to talk about some graphic novels I want to read. So we have Fang. And this one's been, I think I saw this in a readathon with Chloe. Chloe and her friends doing a 24 hour readathon. And that's how I found out about this one. And it's Fang's and it's a love story between a vampire and a werewolf. It's black sprayed edges. And it's just what I want. For Halloween. It's just what I need and I'm really excited to read it. I also have Seance Tea Party and it's growing up is terrible. No one has the time to play outside or use their imagination for fun or do anything fun. Who wants that? Not Laura. So Laura, I'm believing it's like she summons a ghost and has a tea party. That's all I kind of want to know with the graphic novels. I don't want to know too much about them because I kind of do want to be surprised. And the seance tea party, the way I found out about that one was on the internet. I want, I said just some Halloween -y graphic novels and it popped up, so I reserved it at the library. So, moon cakes, perfect for the season. I found out about this on BookTube as well, and I really wanted to read them, and it so unique and it is LGBTQI plus I probably messed that up I need to write that down with my dyslexia it just goes it just pops out of my head I can't remember it and sometimes I can't say it because of my I'm very bad with speech sometimes but it is a very queer graphic novel and I definitely want to read it now I have two graphic novels that are in C part party and I did find out about these from booktube as well. I got the Dragon Tea Society and then I have the second one, the Dragon Tea Festival. The third one I think does come out in fall but because it would have been so popular by being released that I know I wouldn't be able to get it in time or I probably wouldn't even get it until the end of the year because of how we love the Tea Dragon. I don't know the name of these graphic novels but how beloved these are on book just in the I'm going to say the book community. So those are the graphic novels and I will put them away and I'll be right back to talk about another stack of books. So I have another stack. I don't know which one of these two goes first. I believe it is Dead is Not an Option. Or well, maybe it's Dead is Just Rumored. So I will check Goodreads to see what the order of these two are. And this will be, it's not really a wrap up, but it'll be a wrap up of Daisy's story and then with the rest of the series, it's a girl, and there's three books with that, and it's a different story, so I'm excited to finish up. It's about vampires, werewolves, psychics, and I have loved this series. The third one was my favorite. I gave it a f five star. The other two that I read before that were four stars, but they've been all rereads until this point. I've never passed book three, so I'm very excited to get these in for Halloween. Now... I have three V Schwab books or Victoria Schwab one, but I will be reading Vicious as well. And this is a reread because I don't remember anything that has happened in this one. But I do want to reread it because I also have Vengeful, Vengeful. And I'm going to do a mini vlog with these two. So that will be very fun to do. But I also found out there is a comic series with Charlotte. And she was one of my favorite characters, I believe, from the first book. I think Charlotte's in the first one. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've read, read Vicious. So I'm excited to read these two and then maybe look, check the rest out from the library. Once the comics, and I could probably buy these two used now. But I've kind of been waiting to see if they rebrand the covers for the third one. I don't think they will, but this just went through a rebrand. So I hopefully they don't change the covers. So I want eventually I'd like to get a matching set. And then I was gonna save this for Gav's middle grade readathon, but I was like, it's just so short and it was there at the library. So I will re be reading 
Bridge of Souls. And it is, it's been a while since I did this, so I probably will get a refresher of the other two books. But this one is about where the ghosts are, Cassidy Blake follows. So her parents have, they get, I believe, like a ghost story TV show and they like describe where ghosts are or certain massacres or locations. It's been a while, so I will get a refresher. I didn't want to reread the other two because I read them and I wanted just to get into this one. So I will begin into this one after I get a refresher about the other two. Now let's talk about some contemporaries I'm planning on reading in October. I know I probably won't get to all of these books, but my books I could kind of push off, but library books will kind of be the main focus of my TBR. So I will be the one, and it's a K-pop. It also goes, what I want to do is a mini vlog with this one and XO and do like a K-drama or K-pop books and... I, want, I just want some contemporaries because there's a lot of big books and fantasies so I do got four to talk about but these will be coming in a mini vlog about k-drama and k-pop I've never read from these authors I don't know much about the premise but I'm really excited about it them and doing that mini vlog so I also have time of our lives you'll see it on some of the contemporaries I want to read before the end of the year and this one I'm really ex excited for to read and then I also have from that list I think I have another um way over there but I also have now that I found you that I will be reading this they're not much about ha Halloween but the colors remind me of fall and I just need something to branch out so I will be right back I have another stack of books to get and they're a bit further away the next stack so I have Practical Magic. I'm really excited to read this. I'm going, this will be for another mini vlog, but I will also be watching the movie in that vlog and we'll be doing a review of the book and the movie. I did not finish this in time. I will be reading a section tonight, but I'll probably finish this tomorrow because of everything that's happened this end of the week, the headache and the bad news, I'm just going to have to carry this over in October. I also got, which is probably one that is going to be high read because I waited so long to get it from the library. So it's probably going to be one of the first books I read is The Well of the Ascension. And it is the sequel to The Final Empire where Vin and a group of, it's been a while so I need to get a refresher, but there is a live show so I will get a refresher for The Final Empire. But I believe it's them, them trying to change the system or do a robbery. But I'm very excited to, because it's been a year since I read The Final Empire. It's just a lot's happened this year, like I have said. And so I definitely want to read the second one. I do physically own this book, but I got, I thought it was the big ones, but I ended up with the mass market. So I checked out the big ones because I tried reading the mass market right after I finished the first one. They were like Bible pages, very thin, and I just did not want to rip the pages. So I'm very excited to read this. I also picked this up and I don't think I will get to it this month because with how many books I have but it is Brandon Sanderson Warbreaker and I, I just I'm in the Brandon Sanderson mood and I'm just hoping to get to this this month if not it could be pushed back because some of the others I've had checked out way longer so I kind of need to finish them because I think I'll need two more times before I can check them back out and then I have to return them so this could be, because I just checked this out, this can kind of be pushed back. And then you have seen this stack. I have one more stack of big books, and then I will talk about some digital books I want to read. Or Yeah, so I have The Unbroken, and this was for my big book video about big books. So I definitely want to get these ones on. I want to get Son of Storm on. I just love these covers of these books. I'm in the mood for them and they, this one especially has to go back because the 18th I have no more checkout but then the Jasmine Throne I definitely want to get to this month as well and a lot of books and I think the next stack is way over there so let me go get it and I will be right back next stack so I did not finish Arm of the Sphinx so that will have to continue over um, I don't want to go much into that because it's a sequel, but I'm going to say later in the month I will be reading Hob King, and I'm really excited to get to this. I also want to be reading 
one last stop and I'm excited to read this. It was also on my contemporary, one of my top contemporaries I want to read. So I'm excited for that. I want to continue with my reread, uh, Wonder Smith. I was supposed to get to it this month. I just, I didn't have time. So I will be reading this for Halloween and then I'll be reading Hollow Pox in November. And I have never read Hollow Pox, so this will be, it will catch me up to where I need to go. And then I will be reading the sixth book in the Keeper of the Lost series. Uh, Keeper of the Lost Cities, Nightfall. I'm excited for this. I have loved The Keeper of the Lost Cities. I've cried at the last, I think, book four and book five's ending. I, little baby. I'm very excited to get into this next book. I'm extremely in love with this series and I just want to keep reading it. I was able to get book seven and book eight should come later today. So I'm excited. And then I will get 8.5 in another month. So there's some other books I have to talk about. So I'm going to be reading Wolfpack, or no, it's not Wolfpack, but it's Wolf Song by T.J. Klune. Reed's Reader is doing, uh, yeah, it's Reed's Reader is doing a read-along for that series, and I have that one on Libby. I wasn't able, it was like a six-month wait at my local library, so I was able to get it on Libby a lot quicker, but I can't read it off the Kindle. It's only on Libby, and I hate reading books off Libby, but there's that. I also will be reading the, continue reading the script. Lockwood and Co. The Screaming Staircase book. I did not finish that this la in October, so I will be carrying on and reading that one as well because it was a it's the middle grade monthly of September, but I haven't finished it, so I will be carrying that over, and I will be reading that is the October's middle grade monthly. They threw us away, and I would have gotten that if I just waited because I went and got. The two books that were on hold today and right as we get home they're like you're hold for they threw us away is at your library and I was just there I was like it five minutes to get home and they had the book if I just waited I would have had all three but I'm just gonna go back tomorrow and get it so those are all the books I'm planning to read in October I know I'm not gonna get to all of them but I would love if I finished all of them I would be extremely happy and I guess that's all for this video let me get back to you and count how many books that I want to read and then that will be the end of this video so I counted and there are 30 books in this TBR so I know I probably won't get to all of them but my biggest goal will be trying to finish the library books that I can no longer extend. So that is my October TVR. And talk to me down below on what books you guys have for your October TVR or what book you're most excited to get to. Um, I will definitely see you in the next video. I just kind of decided October will probably be a bunch of vlogs because there's so many I want to read. I want to do a weekly vlog and then some mini vlogs. I don't know if I will do three videos a week. It might just be two, but I might throw in some recommendation videos as well, but I will definitely see you throughout the month of October and I will see you then. All right. Bye.